The last week and a half, you, you guys, you can kind of feel something in the air, right? You can't see it. You can't feel it. You can't taste it. But it's almost like you can sniff it. And that's Andy rounding in to NHL form. And you got that early warning shot, that Tuesday Rakers delight last week. And then the Kings did everything they could do. But Washington maybe put a little mini spoiler on it. But, you know, it's like, wow, he was kind of right about the way that game went. I was there. Then over the weekend, a couple of people DM me, gave them some picks that hit. And now right into Monday. I'm going to give myself 3-0-1. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to arbitrarily give myself an overtime loss with the Vegas Golden Knights. But Jonathan March so did register a point in that one. So it's a true overtime loss. However, look at how these games played out. Game number one, Lord knows what you guys said in those comments. I don't even, I can't even look at the congregation of gargoyles that must have existed in that comment section, criticizing taking Tampa after losing 8-1 to a team a mere few days ago, also a team who hasn't been able to score. What do you get? Nice 4 nothing shutout. Then the Winnipeg games that I showed you, the recent Winnipeg games, you can just stack last night's right amongst the another two to one. And then how do those Washington Capitals look? You don't know how unlucky you got that night they lost to the key. Five nothing after one, lose six nothing. They play a team with any sort of speed and skill. They're finished. And I told you they're going to be paying me off. That started last night. Hopefully it did for you guys too. But like I said on my pick and corner show, yeah, the first quarter, like, you know how Netflix operates in quarters and the first quarter, we, you know, yeah, the first quarter was not a great quarter. And now the new season of Stranger Things came out, Stranger Sniffs, and we're coming into form and you're starting to feel it. And we'll look to continue that on a Tuesday. Great Monday, borderline Tony the Tiger. Great Monday. Let's look to continue that on a Tuesday. There's a couple things I like. I'm going to call a couple of my friends for some assistance. You know where I'm going to be going. Well, please, play a little with me. We're going to start in a place where I may go my whole life without seeing. I may be born, do and say a bunch of things, including everything said in this video today, and then die without stepping foot in the city of Columbus, Ohio. Not because I have anything against the city of Columbus, but I just don't particularly foresee myself being there unless it's for some sort of comedy gig that I get booked. You know, I hope to see Columbus if that's the case. So who knows? I'll keep you posted on that front. But as far as tonight goes, you want to know who's visiting? Some of our friends from L.A., the L.A. Kings. And I see no reason why I should hesitate to bet on the Kings tonight. There are many times where a team's on the road. They can overlook a certain game or something like that. However... After the scam win that Washington got against them, how's Washington doing, by the way? How'd they look against Arizona? After the scam loss to Washington, which was like last Wednesday, do you want to know how many games they've had? One on Sunday. So rest, 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 rest. Game against Sunday. They beat the Avalanche. They played great. They had a ton of energy. I see no reason for them to come out flat or mail it in. You know, I always mention the random mail-ins that occur. Sometimes you just got to look at what happens before a game and say, okay, this one shouldn't be a mail-in. I remember I brought up that Rangers game to you recently when they had the back-to-back -back Saturday, Sunday wins, win over the Bruins, and then randomly lay the egg at home against Buffalo. Usually the telltale signs are there. I see no reason why the Kings should screw us in this one. Yeah, it's a relatively pretty price. Little alliteration for you, but... Another fantastic opportunity to use the Caesar same game parlay where we can include Kempe or Kopitar and then it will knock this bet down to a plus money or if not close to plus money. And you can do that over at Caesars where your first bet's going to be risk free up to $1,000. It's a great promotion. You should definitely take advantage of it. Anything up to 1000 is going to be risk free as long as you're a new user over 21 and located in a state that has Caesars and sports betting is obviously permitted. But if you or anybody you know has a gambling problem, please call or text 1-800-GAMBLER. I see no reason for LA to lollygag out there. I'm taking them to win this one on the road at Columbus with that same game parlay. So give me the LA Kings there. And if you don't want to do a same game parlay, it's okay. We can hold that Kings pick 
and then we'll maybe combine it with something else, another pick from the video. What are some other ones? Well, you know, I'm going to try a little something new today. I'm going to call my friends over at Area 51, a.k.a. Odd Shopper Premium. And like I told you with football, I want to I want to see how they feel about the overall vibe on certain games. Well, you want to know one that they got? They got the over on this Rangers game. They were able to find over six at BetMGM. So if this is going to be the case, they think it's going to be an over. Maybe this is going to be one of the ruckus games. They also think that the Red Wings game has... You knew that any game with the Sabres has major ruckus potential. So we got two games that Odd Shopper Premium thinks are going to go over. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take that information. You can take that information from Odd Shopper Premium and enjoy it. Maybe you can just bet those overs. But my particular feeling on overs is if I'm going to be right about an over, then seven goals are going to go in. If seven goals are going to go in, player point props are there to be had. You got seven goals that have to go in for you to be right. So if you're going to be right, it's my NFL DFS theory. I'm going to try to tag a player or two along the way. So on Caesars, you can take one player max from each team. So in this Rangers game, let's go with Brady Kachuk on one side. And I've been blasting these Adam Fox points since he's returned into the lineup. You obviously see back on that power play, their scoring power play goals had points in back-to-back -back games. I think maybe he only didn't have a point in his first game back, but he's had points in the last two. So you can take the over six and a half with Fox Kachuk for that Red Wings bet. Red Wings Buffalo, Alex to bring it. And we'll go Rasmus Dahlin over six and a half. And we got two Ruckus, Ruckus, Peyton Manning at the line of scrimmage. Same game, Paul Lays. And I do want to reiterate something. I, I've always told you suckers bet overs for the most part. Like suckers bet over. If you're, if you're always looking for overs the way I'm always looking for unders, it's a sucker bet. However, if you think you can isolate the opportunity, I'm never just going to take the over. Like I just mentioned, I'm going to put some player point props along the way. But I just want to remind you, you know, when we take unders, we always do six and a half. Just in case it's three to two and we get that scam empty netter and then four to two. We don't want to push. It's not exciting to push, at least here, because you want to come back and curse at me and say you screwed me. Or thanks for making me get that extra half. It saved our asses. But we got that under nice and easy. In fact, on... Monday, not a single game went over six and a half. On Sunday, one game went over six and a half. And if you look in the last like 12 days, two days max had more games that went over six and a half than under. Unders are always the way to go because there are multiple roads to unders. There's one road to an over. Everything works out. Try and remember that, kids. So, yeah, some ruckus in those OS premium uh, assisted picks. And you can do what I do and go over there and use what they believe to guide some of your picks. I know many of you have that philosophy where you think, oh, I like this. Andy liked this. I'm going to take that bet. I kind of do that same thing with Odd Shopper Premium. I go, I like that. The scientists at Area 51 like that. That's going to be my pick for the night. A couple other picks. You guys know my home and home theory. I always like taking the team who lost on that first game, especially if they're coming home in that second one. We just utilized that. I didn't read the comments. I imagine there were a bunch of laughers in the comments. Are you going to take Tampa against the team who just beat them 8-1? to one? Did you see how many they scored on Mazalewski? <laughs> and then what happened? You just had a clear Tampa Bay Lightning shutout. And then who do we got here? The Colorado Avalanche, some of our, some of our guys, you know, the, I'm not going to call them uh, an ex, but we always look at those Avalanche and we, we, we said we've had some good times together, haven't we? They got the Anaheim Ducks who beat them in a shootout the other night. This is going to come back to Colorado, and I'm fairly certain Colorado, Colorado is going to get even. And yeah, there's a big chunky price on Colorado, but the, what I'm going to look at here, and you have to check and make sure that Kale McCarr isn't going to be playing. But he didn't play the last one. He got hurt somewhere along the line in that Anaheim game. Didn't play in overtime. Didn't take a shot attempt during the shootout, which went multiple rounds. Then missed the following game. Give me Devon Taves to register a point with Colorado to win. And I like that one to get you the avalanche at plus money. 
Outside of those games, we have more potential ruckus. Potential ruckus with the Devils at the Canucks. Devils still dealing with their defensive issues. And Devils fans, like this is not me getting at you. I, I go nuts on Islanders fans who just want to see offense at the expense of the defense. But it's just a loser's philosophy. We're still here year after year after year talking about who? The Senators, the Sabres. The Red Wings, maybe we'll adjust a little on them. But the Devils were always in it. They came out of it for a year, just like someone who came up for air, like, <gasps> and now they're right back under. Why? It ain't because of their offense. It's because of this team defense. Anyway, that it's just, I get the allure of wanting a good offense. But if you really want to win, it has to be through defense. Washington, you're not going to see a worse team. They're awful. Why do they have a winning record? Yes, that's yes, that's right, Mr. Jenkins, because they are at least committed to collapsing and playing D and, and, and playing hard without just giving you chance after chance after chance after chance. Anyway, we have uh, the Jersey Devils playing Vancouver. Vancouver, they're getting some wins, but I'm feeling a little shakiness in that boat. This one has the, the potential to be wild or two teams who are like, we really need points. Like things are starting to slow down for us. Oh, I think that first period is going to majorly, majorly dictate how that game's going to go. But in this one, I don't know what type of bets you have available to you. Also, if you want to learn a little bit about same game parlays, DraftKings has introduced new type of same game parlays in some states, but not others. I'm doing some investigating. I'll talk about that more on Friday. Once again, on Pick and Corners, my show on YouTube, which you can access by going to my YouTube page, clicking my name in blue in the title of this video. This definitely has over six and a half ruckus potential point for Quinn Hughes. Oh, it's the Hugheses. You want to do that for fun? If the early part of your night goes well, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, Luke Hughes, they all get a point. You know that's going to be a special. You know that's going to be a special on, on the top of Caesars or DraftKings or something. And you guys remember what I say about those specials? It's the hot girl asking you to prom. Nobody shows up at your front door and says, oh, here's something great. And don't tell me about those publishers, clearinghouse people. There has to be some sort of like footnotes that they don't tell you about. Like that guy who hit the full court shot in that Bulls game for a million dollars. And then he never read the fine print that if you play in a local PAL league, it disqualifies you. And they didn't want to pay him out. And like Michael Jordan had to pay. It. Yeah, go look that up. So if you see Hughes, 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 maybe just have some fun if we have a good early part of our night. But that is what I have for you here on a Tuesday. I will be back with you guys tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed here to the Odd Shopper channel. Come follow my YouTube page like I just mentioned before. Follow me on social media so I can relay any last minute information that I might get on a particular day. Sometimes I'm busy, I don't. Sometimes I'm not busy, I do. But the only way you'll know what I put out there is to follow me on those social media platforms. All right, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.